All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. Can we get this video over a thousand likes in the first 24 hours? And can y'all please go back and watch my video on the shot stick? Uh, what does it say? Shot stick too strong two days ago. I worked really hard on that video, man. We only got 2,000 views, and we don't even have a thousand likes. Can you go over there, watch that video? It's freaking hilarious, and drop a like on it for me. But now, to what we have the uh you know the the news at hand man we only got one news story today and that's Tysino speaking out about the fact that step back racks is really a scammer or that he has strong reason to believe that he really is a scammer we're gonna go through the whole twitter thread and all that good stuff man and uh like i said this is really strong because everybody was saying well you know the people that he has had personal contact with not personal contact as in you know in person but the people that he's actually spoken to or the guys in the 2k community whose wagers he sponsored they haven't spoken out about it they haven't said anything but normally when you're running a scam or something like this of this magnitude the people up top or the people that are the most vocal people or the people that are most front facing you make sure that they get paid so he was probably flipping them money or you know get making sure that they got their money so that they would be able to say well i got my money you guys should just wait like that's how these schemes normally work you take care of the people that are the most visible and then you scam the people that's behind the scene and then you use the fact that the people that are most visible have gotten their money to quell the people that haven't gotten their money or got their money snatched bro i seen people getting getting like five six thousand eight thousand dollars snatched bro it's September. you can come over to twitch shameless plug and sub to me with that don't get nobody no eight grand over the internet where you even getting eight grand from any way that you can just throw away a disposable income that you think you somebody's gonna flip I, I don't get it man none of that is any of my business but anyway Tysino spoke out about it and we're gonna go in depth into it right after this Leo! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Tysino, he put out some stuff last night, and uh, this is just a whole thread that he has, man, talking about, I have strong reason to believe that Step Back Rack is, behind, is the man behind a huge illegal pyramid scheme that took place in the NBA 2K community in which over $200,000 was taken from young vulnerable victims believing that they could quote unquote flip their money and uh, give their money back. And the thread is below. Now, from what I understand, um, I think Step Back Rack is in another country. So if you're sending money, he's outside of U.S. jurisdiction. Well, I don't know what who has to go after that business, like Interpol or something like that, Interpol. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure he's doing it from where he's doing it because he's outside of jurisdiction. But anyway, we're just going to go straight into it. My suspicions first my, my suspicions first become real when uh when a friend showed me that rack was lying to people saying that he that i hadn't paid for uh wages when when i lost every wage i do is 100 percent real and if i lose i pay without hesitation uh this was disrespectful to me and i wondered why rack was lying to people and uh you know it's like this is one guy right here said yeah yeah for sure man uh i'm a bit confused to the fact suppose that rack hasn't received money from tacino so what it looks like with this is this right here is that that rack was probably the intermediary and then he's saying he didn't get the money from tacino but when i get it from tacino i'll pay you guys or what have you uh the night of the wage that he paid straight away yeah tacino always pays straight up and he puts the proof out there uh do you want do you know for a fact that he's paid i'm confused or what have you so uh yeah and then we got the you know we get the rest of it saying you know sorry for another question blah 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 international wire transfer takes a few days to show all that good stuff so obviously he's using what exactly what i was pretty much saying the international thing blah 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 and then tacina also comes back and says after some digging after some digging i also realized that friends of mine who were old money uh who are old money from winning wages were left waiting months for funds that rack owed them uh why would rack keep finding reasons and making up i mean making excuses to push back payment and uh right here you're gonna see yeah we gotta make this a little bit bigger but you're gonna see annoying talking about uh it says it says his assistant also what's it his assistant also said she wired 10k but we never got it and i asked for wiring documents for three weeks nothing yeah i'm staying away from public drama but uh but it's scaring me and then i'm old 38,000. 
eight and old 20,000 and uh, that's 50 K alone. So like we said, you know, we like step back racks. He was the benefactor of a lot of these joints, man. It's like, like it was big money wages. And we was like, bro, why are these guys doing these big money wages? Like they got money to just throw away like that. And now we see, you know, it, it's coming to light because I, I was suspicious about this in the beginning. I was like, bro, nobody ain't just gonna come in and I just like 2K that much that I'm gonna be giving up money like that and i'm not even able to do i mean i don't care who it is it was like well, he's rich like that's the only thing and that's and this is the thing with people they love the the whole that person's rich person stuff and and if they rich then you know they gotta be uh, bro i never i hardly ever seen an honest rich person it, it just is what it is like most rich people get there by standing on the throats of others on the backs of others or whatever jeff bezos all them guys man that's how they get there but it's just crazy because it's like like that's, that's what people love the, oh man he got it man blah 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 so i'm gonna trust bro nah i don't i don't trust none of that but anyway let's get let's get right back into it uh this is where my digging reaches scary level the attached thread is screenshots of gullible youngsters who sent rack money in exchange for extremely high interest rates in essence flipping their uh flipping their money turning a thousand into um a thousand into 1400 for example uh people fall for this and it's crazy that people do fall for it but if you go i'm gonna leave the link to this in the description you go to this guy uh it's pack boy and he actually puts all of the stuff it's got account numbers and all of that stuff man i don't want to show that type of stuff on screen because i don't i don't want people to be like uh you know i'm not gonna be liable for that i'm not even gonna lie but it really shows that he really sent um it really shows that he really sent the money um and it's like I don't, I mean, it shows that he sent the money and and all of his account numbers and all that information, man. It's actually kind of scary, to be honest with you, for real. And then, you know, in the tweet above, you'll see that 2K player range, uh, Eric Lim, is the middleman. I believe Step Back Rack got close to Eric and managed to and managed to get him fully involved in the scheme. Range became a main profiteer while others lost money. Woo! 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 Hey, and then like, uh, and it's funny because in here, in one of these joints, it says that, um, like I said, he's got all this stuff down there, but, but it really says that that's one of the things that he says. It says that, uh, said, first off, I want to let you, I want to let, I want to let y'all know that Eric Lim, AKA range got me into the money thing. I trusted him simply because I thought that being well known in the, A in the, in the 2K community, in the Asian 2K, is it Asian? I don't know, man. Uh, what Asian New Zealand, uh, 2K community. It, um, I didn't think that he'd do something that would tarnish his rep. But look though, man, and I get it, man. And then like I said, when you go into that thread, it just shows you all the stuff, man. But people do anything for money, man. Like I said, like one that's why people are always defending rich people and their and their reprehensible practices. Oh, there's a reason to do this. Oh, it's a reason to be paying people eight dollars an hour when McDonald's makes billions uh, upon billions. Oh, it's a reason to do for Jeff Bezos can pay people uh and, and the people that's in the in his warehouse on welfare and they working them to death and they using technology that's supposed to be used for COVID traffic to track their breaks and stuff like that and make sure that they can't unionize and all this stuff oh yes that's cool because because you know people should work somewhere like bro people always find a way to defend people that's got money man but you know it is what it is and that's what it is we trust those people without anything because we like they probably won't tarnish their reputation but once he got him in on the take of course you know he gonna let him use his name in order to be like hey uh, you know, you can use, you know, you, you can use the fact that I'm a trusted person in the 2K community and we're going to get this money together. I'm not saying that that's how it started, but that's probably how it ended. Like, he probably was like, man, I am not doing that. You scamming people. He hit him with a couple of payments and then it's like, hey, keep the party going. I don't know, man. I'm not saying that's how it went. But apparently he used range in order to, to be the intermediary and, uh, you know, range made a lot of money off of the whole thing we just gonna switch straight to full screen now with these man um where is my full screen boom we just gonna switch straight to full screen because it is it's getting it's heating up it's getting hot uh you know and he says in the above tweet you'll see 2k player that 2k player uh range is the middle man i believe step back rack got close to range and managed to get him to fully involved in the scheme range became a man a main profiteer all right so then boom we got i interrogated range close uh, Range's close friend Noah, and uh, he was completely in disbelief that others were that others were getting scammed because he was profiting. That's and like I said, that's how they always do it. The main people, the most the most visible people, will always get their money. 
they're gonna always make sure that those guys get their money so they can always just say, I got my money, maybe you just gotta wait a little bit longer. He sadly didn't know that that he was at the top of the pyramid along with range while uh while other vulnerable people were getting getting money taken from them. But that's how a pyramid scheme works, man. This, this is how it works. Uh do we want to zoom in on this? Yeah, let's do it. I got a lot of payments from Ben. I just didn't realize it was uh it was included in in three others i had to check i had to check to reconfirm and i'll be honest all these things i see on twitter is getting to my head um even though i'm even though i'm directly involved in making money off of it want to know that i think no want to know what i think yeah i think the step back is running a pyramid scheme where range and you were uh you might be profiteers so that's what he told him right there um, that you know you, you you might be you you all might be profiteers and that's how like I said that's how it always goes the main the most visible people will always get their money they will always get paid they will always be the person that just said it's just like when they put the thing in they always find a, a influencer on Instagram or uh, Facebook or something with a lot of people and they say hey man uh you know we're gonna do this thing where you put in a hundred dollars and you get eight hundred dollars back and that pyramid scheme filters up and you know y'all know what I'm talking about they did an inverted pyramid this time and it filters up and the, and when you get enough people in you get your 800 you cash out and you'd be like, I did it twice already. So you already got $1,600, right? And you getting people to come in and say, hey, you know, I just, can't, will you do it? So the person that they know, they make sure they get paid. And then they use that person as like customer service to be like, well, I got my money, man. You know, just keep on waiting. Uh, you just got to get people to come in. And then everybody does get their money except for the people at the bottom or the newest people in you may get nothing at all or it may be months before you get your money that's how a pyramid scheme works ultimately how most pyramid schemes end is this the people get enough money and they get enough payments and they poof they disappear but let's just keep on talking. I will say that, okay, so I think that was about the end of it right there. And it just says, I will say this, anyone who gives money to someone on the internet expecting their money to be flipped into, into more without understanding what the money will be invested in, you are complete idiots and I hope you learn a life lesson. I'm not gonna say that, man, because a lot of these people are kids and a lot of these people pay your paycheck because it's just, it like, Trust me, they should not have access to that type of money. I'm not gonna say that they're idiots. I'm just gonna say that you should know better. Anything that's, that's too good to be true, it normally is. I would not give money to anybody over the internet. I would be very skeptical skeptical about making even wagers like y'all are doing. Like, see, anybody can be like, cause somebody can literally say anybody that gambles their money on an unstable game like 2K and then get mad after you lose is a complete idiot and, and and well, what did he say? What did he say like that? You know what I mean? And, and I hope you learn your lesson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because because you be taking and that's not cool to say because the, a lot of those people are your followers, man. But I get what you're I get where you're going right there. It's like you just got to be smarter than that. Don't give just say say it a better way because I don't like that. You just say, hey, guys, don't give your money to people over the Internet. That's just not a smart thing to do. And, uh, you know, but I probably call people worse, so it is what it is. Tocino stand-up guy, I don't like that part right there. I'm going to call a hundred. I'm going to call a hundred, a hundred, a spade, a spade. A lot of these people, the reason that you're rich right now is, is because a lot of these people are gullible and they watch your content and they feel like you are the best at whatever. So, like, come on, man. Don't do not do not do that, man. Don't, don't insult your followers. But it's just some of those people. It, it is what it is, man. But, hey, Rack has been very nice to me. I mean, because, yeah, you benefited too. And he actually is admitting that. Rack has been very nice to me the last three months and seemed like an honest genuine person and i was happy to wager against uh against his money i now think he is a master manipulator and got on and got on my good side so that i would never expose his actions uh later on too bad i'm smarter than you buddy hey and that's and that's really what he uh that's really where we at with it man he said hey too bad i'm, I'm smarter than you but that's normally how these things work they get on the, like I said, I said this at the beginning, they get on the people's good side, make sure you get money, make sure that you're getting paid, and so that you will always be like, well, I'm getting my money, so, you know, I, you should be getting yours too. It's how these schemes always work. The most visible person always is at the top, and then the way that it normally works out is, 
the person that's getting money, they're not gonna say anything or they're not gonna, cause they're gonna say, hey, I've been getting my money, so I don't know why you guys are not getting your money. At least I seen those a stand up guy, he went ahead and exposed the whole thing and he's bringing air to it and letting people know that, hey, you shouldn't be giving your money to anybody on the internet. I'm not gonna say you complete idiots. I'm just gonna say that's not a very smart thing to do. Because like I said, when 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 people get the the I mean just like if just like we could say the same thing about you, like like if you thought that he was gonna pay off those wages after you gave him money, then you're an idiot. Like that's that's not cool. I, I just don't like that, man. I mean it other than that, I, I'm I'm right with what Tyson. I just think he could have worded that better. Let's just say it like that. But hey, it is what it is, man. I'm glad that he at least exposed it and he just told everybody, like, look, I'm not gonna be the guy i'm not gonna be your shield i'm not gonna be your your puppet i'm not gonna be none of that i got money i'm getting money over here but these other guys is not really getting money they don't they don't know they just don't want the money train to stop and so that's why they're gonna keep you know they're gonna keep on uh trying to trying to keep the money train going because they know if they say something then the money train over with so that's why they like hey you know we ain't really getting that much money you know uh we gonna keep this all going and hopefully he'll just pay everybody but that's just not how pyramid schemes work man if you ever know how they work um man you, you just gotta look just look up how these joints work man like somebody always gets hurt and it's always the last people in and it's always the people at the bottom and like they said the people that are running the schemes they inevitably disappear anyway that's all i got for y'all today man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man could tacino have worded that better you can't call these people idiots right uh but because like i said these are the same people that's donating to your stream just pouring money into it and stuff like that so like that's that's just not cool man like I don't know. That I just feel that way about that. But other than that, everything he said, stand up guy, awesome. He's right. And I'm probably I'm probably sure that he would probably wish he would have worded it better than that. But once it's on the internet, it's on the internet. Anyway, I gotta holler at y'all next time, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I mean, y'all probably gonna say, I mean, they are idiots for giving up money. But I'm just saying that somebody can call you an idiot for for doing less. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm holler at y'all next time, man. Y'all take it easy till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Gosh, speak. Make sure y'all like the video. Let's get this joint over a thousand likes. And also, let us go back and watch my video from yesterday where I did the uh, shot stick OP. The joint's hilarious. And I'm holler at y'all. Peace. In commits. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't fine. I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, Godspeed. Godspeed, Godspeed. 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 We good.